You know, if you have the GPS today, mashallah, it's made life so easy. I use it so often. And I ask myself, I have actually forgotten how life was before the GPS. And if you intentionally or unintentionally choose a wrong path, do you know what the lady says? Why are we smiling? It's not just the women who lead you down the wrong path. No. <laughs> Let's say what the man says. It depends on your settings. My brothers and sisters don't get me wrong. No offense. So what the man says, he says, make a U-turn when possible. Have you heard that? Wallahi, there are angels telling you make a U-turn when possible. Every time you sin against Allah and you feel it initially. But if you continue on that path, what does it say? Rerouting, recalculating and so on. May Allah forgive us. Then we go via a long you know, way. We want to go to Penang and we end up in Ipo. <laughs> That's what happens. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us. Why? You continued on the path, wrong path. The same happens if you want to choose that path, you will go to Jannah because you're a believer, but you might go via Jahannam. Yes, and you don't want that to happen. I'd rather a direct flight to say, wow, we're landing and here we are at my destination. Imagine if you were to land straight into Medina Munawwara, better than, than a person who goes from here to China, from China to India, from India, somewhere else. And you say, I got a very cheap ticket, a huh? cheap ticket, but you struggled and you suffered. Imagine if Allah gave you the amount of sustenance to be able to buy that ticket with comfort. You flew straight into the destination you wanted to. May Allah grant us that on the day of judgment. Ameen.